Hello, my name is Christopher May. Uh, I'm the station officer at East Ham Fire Station. Uh, today at Fairlock Waters, um, talking about water safety with members of the public. Um, in the recent months, uh, we've had a lot of unprecedented uh, accidents, injuries and deaths, unfortunately, across the country with young adults, um, children, uh, and people from all walks of life um, in the water. So hopefully today we'll be able to discuss a few things that would help keep you safe um, in the warm weather um, with open water, uh, including lakes, uh, the sea and um, rivers. So uh, firstly, um, nice hot day um, and we're going to enter the water. Now, the water, a large body of water doesn't warm up, not very much. So when we enter it too fast, we get a thing called cold water shock. Um, this can stop you functioning completely. Take a very deep breath and find it hard to breathe. This is what a lot of people get in trouble with in the first instance. Um, with that being the case, um, we always advise if you are going to enter the water and it's a safe area to enter the water, you enter nice and slowly and this would give you the best chance of acclimatising to that water and not getting the cold water shock which uh, leads to people getting in trouble. Also drinking alcohol um, and large quantities of food, uh, having a bit of a lunch break, dinner break and going for a swim, these also affect you uh, going out into the water and this can be a river, a lake. Um, or even the sea, yeah, you've got more chance of cramping or getting into difficulties uh, while you're, you're in the water. Um, and it doesn't have to be particularly deep for you to, to get into trouble either. Um, your feet could touch the floor, but if you start cramping and your legs have to come up to your chest where you're trying to rub, um, that could obviously cause you to uh, become incapacitated in the water as well. Um, we do look at some of the other dangers out in a nice um, sort of still lake like that, very well managed, nice and clean uh, here at Fairlock Waters. But there are underwater um, hazards. Uh, it could be fishing lines, it could be shopping trolleys that may have been thrown in there. Um, there's a various amounts of um, debris that could be thrown into water that we're not aware of. So although it looks very calm, clear, it's very easy for our feet, legs to become trapped. Again, um, becoming very difficult to swim. One of the main things we'd like to say to people as well is when you do see someone in trouble in the water, the London Fire Brigade, as well as all fire services, do respond to water incidents and we can uh, perform rescues. A large majority of people that enter the water to perform a rescue normally become the victims themselves. So it's always best to call 999, ask for London Fire Brigade and explain what's going on. Um, if there's life uh, jackets or life rings close by, obviously throw them in if you can. But we'd, we'd, unless you're a trained lifeguard, we'd always advise not to enter the water. Um, and even if you are a trained lifeguard, because it is such a different environment to a swimming pool um, in open water sources. So 999, London Fire Brigade, and we will send a specialist team uh, to perform the rescue. But you can still do things like using throw lines on boards, um, the rings, and if there's life jackets available to throw out, depending on what water course you are um, or where you are. Um, so when we have rivers, they're clearly fast moving, um, not always obvious. So most people think of a river and you can see the surface of the water moving. But if we look at the River Thames, although it's quite calm and moving seems to move very slowly, it's only a metre deep uh, and that water then becomes very, very quick and can quickly uh, pull you and take you to where you don't want to go. Um, and unfortunately we've had incidents in the Thames that people have fallen foul with um, and require rescuing. So any rivers, um, unless it's a designated swimming area, I would always advise you not to enter um, and uh, sort of go to designated swimming spots if you could. Also with open bodies of water, I'd just like to mention, uh, with a nice breeze, uh, you can see here um, with fell up waters there's a ripple effect. So when you do swim out, sometimes it can be a lot harder to swim back. Um, although there's not a current, it's that wind factor that can make it a lot more difficult for you um, swimming. So, Moving on from that, um, we do have an LFB Twitter page um, that can offer you more advice on water safety, um, hashtag respect the water. We can also go to the uh, London Fire Brigade um, official uh, webpage um, with a tab on there for uh, water safety advice. You're always welcome down to your local fire station to uh, get further fire safety advice, um, water safety advice, or have home fire safety visits attending to you. Um, we are a hub for the community um, as we've run our campaign through the Community Risk Management Plan, CRMP uh, of late and opening up our stations to you um, to get all this extra advice and support in your local community.
So to finish up, please all stay safe, whether it rain or shine, summer or winter, water is dangerous, please respect it and thank you.